Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got our construction done. Next target's enchantment. I'm not sure how deep we'll go in enchantment exactly, but we at least need um, five, right? Oh, our vapors is six. Okay. I guess six then. <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll check targets as we hit them. Uh, absolutely found nothing. We did mind hunt. We killed Jern. Jern is not a Vanabog though. So I guess maybe we killed a scout or something. Not quite what I wanted to happen, but um hey, it happened. Uh, we had four arrows appear out of the sky. Uh two people survived it though. Uh two people died. One was a Mound King and one was a Thamaturg. So could be worse. Contacted more Draconians, revived a Bane. A bunch of battles then. The three were Vanatectus or here. Um, he took these three with more Vanabog things. Ah, uh, yeah, I really need to mind hunt these. So this is the one from last turn that we saw. There's also, I think this one has like a Dancing Trident and a Vine Shield. This one's pretty jacked. Um, but they're all basically that. I forgot. Shinu leaving this for Unseeds is really bad, because now everything that was in here can just walk around. Um, which I totally forgot about, so yeah, we just lost everything we picked up, but to um, Raiders. Need to do something about that. Uh, we then spied some more battles. We can see Shinu taking some stuff now as well. Got some Tengu out at least, which is good. Some mages in that army as well. Rimaya, bigger one. Um, so Shinu is doing stuff as well. So he's got these two provinces. Oh, this one too. So that's also nice. Uh, we saw Katiz taking back a province from that uh, fire mage, dude. He's brought the long dead out. That uh, goes a bit better. Good for him. Not sure there was anything else too interesting. We moved into Amiradon. Oh, one thing that was good here. Um, yeah, we fixed the Venris pelt by sending it. So, there's all the walls we should be getting. So that's really nice, at least. Um, so the Fenris Pilt works again. And the other one was Norfangs. Which I hit with a scout because it had no PD. But um, he put one point of PD here. God damn it, I guess he noticed. Um, so, yeah. So the battles were all around here. Who took that? Ban took this and we bounced off this because he PD'd it. And we moved into a Muradon. And we didn't move forwards in the lake. He, he is moving the Hydromancer to defend. The problem I have here is I don't know how many Hydromancers this is. Because a bunch of water elementals underwater will just like easily beat this army because it's just um, low quality undead. Um, water allies underwater are really bad because they regenerate really, really. I think they regenerate all their health every turn or something crazy like that. Or is that just the the Queen of Water I'm thinking of? Maybe they've just got 20% regen underwater. Either way, they're pretty hard to deal with underwater. Um, so I'm going to let this guy move up so that we can see a battle report and see how many mages it is and how many gems. Um, because if we know that, we know if we can fight it or not. Um, and it's a lot easier for us to get stuff underwater than it is for him, because we've got a fort right here with a bunch of uh, rings. So... Uh, I'm just going to sack this for now, that's fine. Events then, uh, three of them. Lost Canyon Range, we got some pearls, that's really nice, thank you. Uh, Misfortune in Dragon Ridge, not as good. And in 12th Sten, uh, we got 35 gold and two gems from the Lair of a Hideous Troll. Nice. Uh, worldwide event. During nighttime, green lights can be seen dancing in the sky, and mages have reported worldwide surge of magic. Never seen that one before. And we did recruit the Iron Men. Um, although since we didn't get pushed into here yet, they're not really useful in this position, but um, we'll fix that. And that's it for messages. Okay, so this turn, uh, I'm forging a Starshine Skullcap. Somebody better be doing that, actually, yeah. Marius here is doing it. And my Ermage over here, he's teleporting into my cap to be safe. Um, I think as a long-term project, I'm going to try and have this guy empowered in death. And then we give him a staff and have him cast Twiceborn. 
He's very old. Very fragile guy to be holding a global. Um, we'll try and make him a bit tougher somehow. Uh, yeah, for now though, he's teleporting to Solaria. We forge him a cap, we give him the two boosters, and we cast Wrath of God next turn. Uh, we will have 100 gems in the treasury. Uh, we can alchemize 10 pearls from Earth, 60 pearls from water, um, another 30 from air, another 30 from fire, another 13 from death. Um, yeah, we can give ourselves a ton of pearls to overcast this. I would like not to do that. I would like to just use these gems, especially water. Uh, I'm going to start forging bottles every turn. Uh, and if not bottles, it'll be more coral blades. Water, water gems are so useful. But uh, I might just alchemize them all into pearls. I really want to get a global up. Um, I don't know, so that's just going to be the plan anyway. So this turn I've kind of stopped forging. I'm doing one mind hunt, but that's the only kind of thing I'm using gems for this turn. Uh, I'm mind hunting Troll Peaks. Uh, mind Blowing Dinner Conversation now has a spell focus for penetration and a shroud, so he's blessed for penetration as well. That's two penetration on him. Um, his provinces have drain, but best of luck to him. This one's drain too. Can't see this one. So this one's going to have the lowest magic resistance, so this is the one I'm targeting. So fingers crossed we pop it, and don't pop a scout or something. Um, we really need more kind of S3s to <laughs> scale up our artillery, but um, for now just the one. But as time goes by and we get more S3s, um, we get stronger and stronger. Because of our, available, our ability to do this. Um, slightly concerning is that man does have a ton of shaman here. So he could easily move Astral Mages into his armies over here at some point. So I have to be careful about um, where exactly I mind hunt. Um, I guess I can see lizards walking this way. So maybe we'll, we'll see them moving through here. But um, certainly something to be aware of. We've got the big stack moving here, we'll move into this position. I guess, do we have to try and take this fort now that it's just open? I mean, presumably Shinu's going to try and take it. As long as he's just sitting on it, that's fine. We're moving this big stack down here. Um, these guys are going to move back to this fort for a bit. Um, and I'll try and take some stuff. But I feel like I, I need to get stuff set up. Now, now that I know that he can actually defend stuff, we need to get some actual tools set up. We've got the Fenris Pelt, which is good. Um, we need Nature Boosters now to get Foul Vapors going on an army as well. I think Foul Vapors is useful. We've got the Draconians coming over as well. Uh, they're moving to Delka this turn. And we can give out some more robes, some more boosters maybe. We can forge more bows and things. So we'll step back a bit, we'll just hold this, we'll take back this, and we'll move these guys down. And hopefully we get more S3s to do more mind hunts, and then hopefully we also get Wrath of God up. And that'll put us in a stronger position here. But I'll just wait for now with storming these forts and things. And see what happens. Um, there is a Vanabog here, so moving a bunch of stuff to Delka. We've got a Bane with flying shoes on attack cavalry, and we've got 31 Draconians on attack cavalry as well. Uh, there's a bunch of random units here, there's 25 points of PD. We've got four mages spamming starfires, which is just armonegating damage. Uh, we've got a shaman who's going to curse as well. And we even have a priest with a vision's foe, which is a range 50 crossbow that does armonegating magic damage. Also causes eye loss. So... If the Vanabog moves into this province, I mean, I assume this kills it, I don't know. I guess we'll see how um, Draconians stack up against thugged Vanabogs. I think the Bane, hitting him with a Bane Blade is going to kill him though. Uh, but we'll try and hold this and then move stuff down. Uh, this guy's pulling back for a second to see what this does. Uh, I'm forging bottles, so we can bring bottles underwater, which gives us our own water elementals. So that's fine, then we can start retaking more of these provinces. I think that's broadly it though. Kind of a quiet turn because I just want to try and get Wrath of God up. So I think that's it for now.
Um, it is worth pointing out, this stack looks a lot bigger than last turn. It's now 240 units. I kind of expect to get attacked by Katiz at some point, but I don't know. We do have a lot of stuff here, and a lot of stuff here as well, though. These are the two stacks that defend this part of my territory, so... They're fine. I guess we just wait and see what it does. Now that's the turn, I think. So that was turn 46, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. I uh, got some enchantment done. The Mirrodon, we got hit by Flame Bolt. Uh, we lost a Thaumaturg. Also not good. Uh, we did Mind Hunt, we did hit one of the Vanabogs, but he resisted, unfortunately. Uh, teleported my Wrath of Godcaster. More arrows out of the sky. Uh, we got hit on one of our Thaumaturgs was wounded. Uh, zombie breadsticks, probably a Thaumaturg, got wounded. Uh, and then my prophet, the Grand Thaumaturg, died instantly. That's super unlucky, man. My Grand Thaumaturg had like a full set of items. I'm pretty sure he had a um, Oral Blade as well. That's really unlucky. Uh, we found two water sites in blue waters though, which is pretty nice. That's my throne. Uh, so that's two more water gems per turn. And then tons of battles this turn. Uh, we saw Ind attacking Katiz. Because I guess these guys are still at war as well. So... Some... Sanocephalians are these? Oh, they're just Gog Reavers. Oh, they are Sanocephalians, okay. They can get Katizian province. We also saw Katiz attacking Agartha. Which... Okay, cool. Uh, that's really nice. There are some sacreds here. I don't think they're going to get blessed, though. They're just getting bark skinned. Um, so best of luck to Katiz in the war against the Gotha. That'd be nice. Uh, we got attacked in Winter Peaks, which is where I moved a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is really cool. Because my Grand Thumbaturgs are set to cast the big Death Blast thing that I can't remember the name of. Um, but they don't bother. They just spam Apostasy. And we just charm this guy pretty much instantly. Um, so we now have a Vanabog, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that worked, to be honest. This guy's 19 magic resistance? Actually, I'm kind of curious now. Let's. I'm going to rewatch that just to see what the roll was on that. Let's see. So it's here. Let's see if I can find it. Apostasy. Penetration roll 7 plus 18. What? <laughs> Does that mean it rolled 18 on the bonus? 7 plus 18 versus magic resistance roll of 20 plus 3. I mean, that seems insanely lucky, right? I'm not sure, that seems ridiculous to me. Uh, yeah, but we now have our own Vanabog, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else was here? We saw Shinu attacking one of um, Van's provinces and taking that. Have Van, throwing a Vanabog into Chinu and taking that. This is the one that resisted our mind hunt. Um, so that's this province. We can see Van attacking Ind in the Black Peaks. She's just a single mage doing some air alleys. Uh, kills PD pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, and finally the Stormy Deep. So... Yeah, it's pretty... I'm glad I retreated. Um, this is a lot of Hydromancers, and they all have tons of water gems. Uh, this guy has an awful lot. Um, so these guys water power, and then they just shit out water alleys. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of impossible to beat that. Uh, they do use up all their gems, though. The only guy who ends the battle with gems intact is this guy. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 gems left. Um, yeah, but that's kind of... What is the regen you get? Is it 20%? Yeah, 20% underwater regen. I'm not sure we can kill those. Ah, so that was Stormy Deep as well. Events then, Lake Purple also got attacked by Shamblers, which is unfortunate, so we lost um, Lake Purple. Which is this one. Uh, Palia, we got Copper Deposits, which is nice, and Workinum. Uh, Eventual Witch cursed some of our troops, and we got three Nature Gems. Uh, and that's it for messages. Here's how the map looks now.
Yeah, these videos just started going live on the channel. And so a bunch of people were like, oh yeah, Solaria, man, they're like, they're so overpowered. You just crush everyone with skeletons and everyone has to form a coalition to beat you. <laughs> and now I feel, I feel like shit now because I don't feel powerful at all. I must have just played this nation horribly. The Gothas seems like they just easily beat me. I mean, imagine trying to throw skeletons at magma children. That sounds like it would not work at all. I didn't want to attack Katiz because I didn't want to get my mages diseased. Uh, Van is now also awful. I mean, I guess technically I, I could just be like having priests lead skeletons into them. Just to raid. But they'll just get picked off by seeking arrows, right? So I can't do that either. Like, um... I don't know, maybe I'm just bad at Solaria. Maybe I, this just isn't the nation for me. I, I, I don't feel strong at all. I just feel like another nation. Um, I have been encouraged to go back to building buildings, though, and just getting more H1s out, because a lot of people seem to just spam forts and get lots of H1s out. So a lot of my forts are just doing H1s for a bit now. Maybe I'm behind on skeleton production or something. I'll give it a shot. Um, but, you know, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I, I've never claimed to be a great player or anything, you know, I hope people just watch these uh, videos because they're fun. So I won't worry too much if I'm not great. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's talk more about this turn. Um, So the big thing this turn, I alchemized a disgusting number of gems into pearls. I'm, I really, 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 really don't want to bounce off one of these globals. Um, so I won't say how many pearls exactly, but we have a lot going into Wrath of God this turn. So I would like to get that up. Um. I have been in games where Wrath of God is up. I remember Wrath of God went up in my Flegry game, and it is so annoying. It's like the worst things I have to deal with. Because a lot of globals that hurt you only hurt you if you're in like enemy dominion or something. But Wrath just hammers you if you have the wrong scales, and everyone in this game has the wrong scales. So it would be so cool if this goes up. Um, so, it, like, fingers crossed it happens. Uh, and that's the main thing happening this turn. I'm I'm pulling lots of stuff back here. Um, my plan is to just sit in this fort and just animate with like everything here. We're just going to shit out skeletons and see if we can just push them into Van's territory. I'll start sending out priests with like robes of missile protection, just leading around hundreds of skeletons, and see if we can just push in. Because I suppose the worst thing it might do is force him to use gems to stop that instead of fighting me. Um, and that leaves me free to assemble an army to actually try and take forts, but I think taking forts is also going to be really hard into all the air alleys. But the, the three tools I'd like to have is the Instant Howl, some flying units, and Foul Vapors. That would be nice to have, and then we can try taking one of these forts. Um, they are, of course, just going to get better and better defended now, unfortunately. This one has a bunch of flying units in it. Are these mercenaries? Yeah, Red Raptors. So the flying units are going to fly around taking provinces probably as well. But um, yeah, I, I, I have a hard time seeing how we take these forts, to be honest. Um, we'll also put together a, more, a, a stronger army to defend against this so we can keep hold of our lakes as well. Go back to taking those. Um, but yeah, but we're down on gems at the moment because most of them went into pearls. Um, but there's some things I would like to be forging every turn, if possible. I'd like bottles and... Coral Blades every turn if possible, which we can almost do. We have 13 Water Gems per month. So that's almost sustainable. I like to get out at least one Robe of Missile Protection every turn, which is also sustainable at the moment. I think we are forging to a turn as well. Yeah, so we'll have two Robes of Missile Protection, Coral Blade and a Bottle, potentially. Although I'm also forging a Water Brace at this turn so we can get some Water Boosters made. Um, we need a Moonvine Bracelet so that I can turn one of the Jade Sorks into a Foul Vapors caster. So only my god can do that. I'll have to wait till we've got 15 Nature Gems though. Uh, and I'm also going to start forging the reanima Reanimation Booster every turn as well. Not sure where I'm doing that, but somewhere. Uh, forge Amulet of the Dead Soul. We'll forge one of those every turn as well. Uh, and then we also need to start forging some Astral Boosters and Pen Items when we get more Astral Mages. We have Mind Blowing Dinner Conversation. There's also one more S3 with this on me, I think. Um, unless it just died, I don't know. 
It could have been... Oh, yeah, it was my prophet, wasn't it? My prophet... Oh, no, there's also this guy. Okay. So, croissant delivered by drone is also an S3, so that can be another artillery mage. Um, so, I'll just get that set up. We have lots of mages currently that are diseased as well, so they'll they'll twice spawn themselves. This guy we just charmed can twice spawn himself to deal with disease. Um, I've got a hero back here who's going to twice spawn himself. And um, there's another cat mage, this one. Gonna twice spawn himself. I'm not sure if it's better to, to then just kill them instantly. So I think if you come back as a white mage, you still have afflictions probably. So maybe it's better to kill them now before the disease gives them loads of afflictions. But we got some people twice spawning anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna send some skellies into the wheel to take that. Hopefully, um, Swamp of Forgetting is getting quite a lot of stuff actually, just in case we bump into a mage or something. Uh, and the Draconians are now being led by the Flying Bane. They'll sit here until we assemble an army. Lots of guys here are now also reanimating too. Everything here is reanimating, and then I'll have everything here reanimating as well. We'll just pump up our skeleton numbers for a bit. Maybe we can sit like 200 skeletons in every province that we take so that they're a bit um, easier to defend against um, banner bog guys. Some other little things are, I am starting a fort in this throne province, moving a mage there to put up a temple and a lab as well. I'll go back to trying to scale up my forts. We need one here and here. We can do more around here, I suppose. And uh, I've got my god casting Vengeance of the Dead on Rimaya. This is where Otar is. Um, this guy already has 51 kills. I think he ends up with like 80 or something in this province. There's lots of go uh, lots of goblins. Uh, he just has 20 magic resistance though, so I'm not... I'm not predicting when this actually lands, but if it does, we'll see if Vengeance can kill these things as well. That'd be nice. Yeah, but the big thing this turn is just hoping that Wrath of God goes up. It would be nice. Um, I'll put together a little army here as well to raid these provinces if I can. Same sort of thing, just um, I'll slap a river missile protection on this guy, give him 100 skeletons and just walk in. Yeah, he gets on. It might still lose to one early, to be honest, but... um. Yeah, because all these mages can just do this. But uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's the turn. I feel super self-conscious now because I, I feel like I'm just I'm not very I'm not playing with this nation very well. If it's supposed to just be like busted, um, but hopefully it's enjoyable. I don't know. Uh, it's ten forty-seven anyway. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.